Wave has been around for a few years as a startup in, in Austria, and we've been focusing on delivering uh, basically a the best possible event uh, watching experience uh, to fans and consumers. So our mission is really to help uh, those uh, companies who hold rights of uh, sport events and um, other types of entertainment events to really maximize the value they get out of uh, this type of uh, distributing this type of event. So if you think about today's reality where most events are being uh, delivered in a linear way, you know, they're available on demand later, sure, and it's maybe broadcast, maybe streaming, but it doesn't really maximize uh, what you can get out of such an event. So by adding the option to uh, view different camera angles, uh, maybe even on a second device that you can sync up to your television, adding uh, data overlays that really pull the consumers back into the event and into the action. We think, uh, we believe that we provide a significant value to the rights holder to really get the, um, an improvement on their return on investment by really keeping people tied into the action, therefore you know, reducing churn for, ever, um, um, for uh, subscribers. Um, or su subscription-based services or maximizing the advertising revenue. And the Native Waves EXP platform is effectively our branded product that we launched last year at IBC uh, that offers uh, three different integration options for these rights holders to integrate our capabilities into their existing app or to set up um, a low latency streaming platform uh, from scratch for them in order to uh, deliver this experience. The IBC Accelerator program, however, not everybody might know it's a program introduced by IBC as a framework for broadcasters and content uh, providers to work collaboratively to address the many challenges of uh, digital transformation in the industry that we refer here the media and entertainment right projects are short term fast track experimental addressing some tangible business and technical challenges of broadcasters and it's hands on learning by doing closed environment trusted environment and ends up with a proof of concept typically demonstrated on the show floor every year's IBC event. Uh, this year was, I think, the third one uh, being done. And, and this one that we uh, participated together with, with uh, Native Waves and alongside 20 other uh, vendors and champions and broadcasters uh, was uh, more or less eight initiatives. And, and the key themes about IBC Accelerator were the, uh, the 5G and the innovation it brings. Uh, in uh, live and sports innovation uh, production, extended realities, immersive audio and sound imager imagery, and the ones, right? That is the IBC Accelerator overall. Uh, we have joined as Microsoft, the Microsoft roles you were asking. We have joined, contributed, and assisted multiples of those accelerators by providing especially support on uh, edge and cloud connectivity, AI and infrastructure, and cloud networking that is needed to make them happen, right, in a way. Uh, what that means, right, uh, uh, remember that the World Cup that we will have this year in Qatar will be the first ever 5G World Cup, large event, and that is special. And one of our highlighted accelerator was around innovation in sports production for that, right? Uh, and, and what 5G brings to the ecosystem, especially that, uh, that special event is on the looks. We have concentrated the efforts in Qatar. So we, 5G provides the uh, unmatched reliability, uh, connection density that you need in a stadium, right? And bandwidth and low de delay. And then you combine that 5G connectivity with the power of edge, AI, IoT, and cloud, we unveil many innovations in all industries and media alike. And that is what our contribution was in a way. And in our accelerator, by the use of that 5G powered by the local telco Oridu, the telecoms provider, the use of Azure, global network, Azure cloud and the edge, uh, we have enabled production team to make high quality, low delay, remote collaboration based and remote production possible uh, in a way that they didn't need the resources or large teams on the ground in venues because they were now being able to do whatever they needed to do in their master control rooms, in their studios, wherever it is, right? By all those broadcasters and working them together. That is the production side. 5G also has a lot of things to offer in interactivity, in second screens, in gamification to the end users, to the eyeballs, to the fans, right? Whether they are in the stadium or they are at home. 
uh, and working together with native waves, uh, helping them out with their uh, applications and, and to reach to the subscribers, to, to the fans. Uh, we somehow together provide the best seat in the stadium kind of experience, wherever they are, where with that app, they could be able to see the highlights, they could be seeing the graphics, they should be in synchronization with the real time match that is happening. They could be able to contribute that professionally produced, but remotely cloud and age and 5G based feeds into user generated content feeds as well that, that is being coming up with 5G to our edge processes and combine them all to offer that rich experience, right? This is what our contribution was uh, overall working nicely with native ways and a bunch of others uh, that were also supporting the program. If you can imagine, uh, if you've been to a stadium in recent years, the uh, or to, to any event, large uh, scale venue before the pandemic, uh, you probably realize that capacity and coverage uh, through mobile networks is a challenge because of the high density of uh, receivers within one given cell. Um, 5G fundamentally solved this issue. And as a consequence, you can now actually consume and even upload videos, as Owner mentioned, uh, within a large scale venue. So the actual use case that we're particularly excited about is that imagine of teams bringing their favorite influencers to the stadium, sitting um, on in in the um, with the audience, and actually creating semi-professional video that they then upload and contribute to the multi-camera feed that consumers and users can view, view and watch, not only in the stadium but also worldwide in on their receivers, uh, whether that's a mobile device or a smart TV in the living room. So all of those capabilities are now opened up thanks to 5G. And for us, that's uh, particularly exciting because so far we've been delivering the professionally produced broadcast feeds as part of our app. And now we can add on to that the um, highly engaging um, influencer and uh, participant video that is uh, being uh, becoming more and more relevant uh, for these large scale events to really drive the um, inclusion of, of all viewers and users. So I think the, um, the IBC Accelerator program has showed us that while technically possible, it is a good idea to have a pre-curated uh, version or at least to have uh, people nominated who can actually contribute video, who know what they're doing and who know where their video is going. Um, and as I said, therefore, I, I, I strongly believe that uh, influencers that exist today who are um, you know, delivering their video today on, on other platforms, they could integrate into an experience and an, such as a Native Waves EXP uh, delivery uh, at the same time and uh, create high quality and high, highly engaging video that is on top of and in, in addition to the uh, broadcast uh, feeds that are being delivered worldwide. The UGC example was a good one. I mean, you can just scale it out only by the use of AI to do some sort of compliance on it, right? And if you're to do a compliance to, towards hundreds of feeds coming in, the, the automation is by AI is the only way. And you cannot do it real time without the use of 5G and edge to run those algorithms at the very edge in conjunction with the cloud, which does the machine learning. So this is a very practical example, a part of the, uh, IBC Accelerator program, we looked at it, those models, we used it to some extent, it's just the start, right? Uh, then gamif gamification, you know, having watch parties, multiple people seeing those and having avatars and feeling like on that virtual environment working, uh, uh, living together the event, that is only also possible with the use of edge uh, and, and a bandwidth and reliability and low delay the likes of uh, 5G brings, whether use of private networks or network slices that we have all looked at a part of the I, uh, IBC accelerator. That was a great learning experience for us that I literally enjoyed a lot. I, I was in, even on my LinkedIn post, I was saying every year we have those initiatives, we have a lot of things and this, is, this was the one for me. So uh, I, I learned a lot. I think all the uh, broadcasters and uh, and vendors alike uh, uh, was the case and looking forward to the next one. As Owner mentioned, the learnings have been increasingly uh, valuable as we go through these uh, accelerator programs and they're a, a incredibly useful vehicle for all of us to learn uh, and also to discover what's possible. 
uh, and really push the edge of the innovation and that we actually deliver as uh, real live events. I mean, we've been delivering native waves EXP um, for over a year now to um, consumers worldwide in different um, you know, geographies. Uh, but I think what we are looking to do here and also maybe as a next step around uh, football matches is definitely something that will get uh, consumers even more excited to be watching and following the event. Thank <music> you.